I love it. <laughs> Hey, beautiful people and success mentor, Dante J. Worth, and I'm back with another video right here on Our Nation's Believer TV! <laughs> now, if this is your first time tuning in, I need you to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you like this video. Mm-hmm. And make sure that you are commenting down below. Me and my team absolutely love to read your comments. Now, tonight, we're being joined by the wonderful, the fabulous, the visionary. Tell them who you are, sir. Garth Fagan. Woo! So we invited Mr. Vegan on tonight to talk about the power of dance to enable, empower, and encourage. But before we talk about that, we're gonna ask you the question we ask every single guest. What is your story? Hallelujah. <laughs> Whoopings from my daddy. Yes. Serious cooking from love from my mother. Mm. The two of them always going doing what's right for me. Because mm. even my mama, sometimes she'd say, this one is between you and your father. I'm not getting involved. That means I really screwed up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had no place to run, no place to hide. No safety net. <laughs> but I mean, now that I'm a great grandfather, I know that was good parenting. Yes, yes. At the times I thought he was so square and so Oxford graduate and so mm -hmm. you couldn't do this and you couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. He was right. Aww. And I know that I was not a good child. Mm -hmm. Angelic perhaps, <laughs> but not good. <laughs> That's awesome, that's awesome. <laughs> you had an incredible life, an incredible resume. We all know. We can't say God thank without anyone knowing recognizing who you are. But when you think about the power of dance to enable, empower, and encourage, what does that mean to you? Well, it has filled my life with such joy. Yeah. And terror. Mm. And trepidation. Mm. And I go back to Martha Graham. Mm -hmm. She had me go across the floor 13 times until I got a simple unadorned <laughs> wall. Yes, yes, yes. And um, she never showed us, but she wanted it. Mm -hmm. And then what, I wasn't going to give up till she saw what she wanted because yes, yes. I trusted her eyes. And then on what, my 13th time, and Irene Rains, who was going with me up through a level, she dropped out. <laughs> And by 13th time, she said, you're going to go places. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you did go places. I go places. was so happy that I did what she wanted. Yes. Well, hey, different days, different days. I know a lot of people have a hard time finding themselves going just in any stage of life, whether they're young, middle-aged, experienced stage, no one really is older, we just get a little experience. How do you think dance helps people to really just zone in on who they are and why they're here in this world to... Well, help, um, dance has a rude, shocking, mm -hmm. fabulous way of telling you exactly what you can do yes. and what you are not doing, mm, okay. depending on whatever the criteria yes. was, you know. But you can get out there feeling as good as can be and hit this releve and know you're gonna purchase it for two years and you held it a minute and it's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. It just went out of the room yes. and left you standing there feeling, you know, weak and sorry. So um, I love that about dance. Mm -hmm. I love that about dance. And how whatever language, whatever culture, whatever race, whatever gender, whatever lifestyle, we can communicate with everybody. Oh, that's good. That's you know, yeah, everybody that's can get what that meant. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, it, it, it's, we have toured the world, as you know. Yes. Um, all the major cities, Australia, New Zealand, Bujumbura, you yes, know, yes. All, all places people have heard of, London, Paris, and Rome, of course, mm -hmm. but places like Bujumbura that people never heard about, yes, but we've yes, been yes. there. And um, so every race, creed, and color has seen us, mm -hmm. and they applaud at 
similar places. Yes, yes, yes. Loudly and clearly. Of the European countries, Italy is my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's sunny, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. They have lovely leathers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the fathers are like Jamaican fathers, mm. take charge and, yes. you know, um, worship their daughters and their wives. Mm -hmm. Their sons do, yes. but, um, but they love us in Italy. Every time we perform in Italy, we got to do three or four encores. <laughs> wow. Because the entire <laughs> audience stands up and stomps and cheers. Bravi, bravi, yes. exceptionali, exceptionali, wow. bravi, bravi, <laughs> exceptionali. Yes. I mean, in Spoleto, in the pouring rain wow. outdoors, oh my we, we had to do three encores because uh, people wouldn't leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You we know? love you guys. Awesome. We love you guys. Yeah, wow. That was really amazing. Yes. You know. Um, and after all the hours you put in the studio mm -hmm. and all the good food that you do not eat because yes. you want to keep your body looking a certain <laughs> way. Yes, yes, yes. Um, then it's nice to get that kind of loud, robust response. Yeah. You, know, you know, with a host of like so many accomplishments and people perceiving you as just amazing, Garth Vegan. But what do you see when you look in the mirror? Oh, hard working and tired. Mm. Hard working and tired. <laughs> we know that fathers have been giving this like innumerable power to like validate their children. And on your TED Talk in Jamaica, you talk a little bit about your story of just some of the th different struggles you had with your father. Yeah. What do you believe the impact that his, he had on you that moment when you performed, he showed up and he saw you like, he saw his trajectory basically shift around your, your her career. What was that like for you? Well, in 1973, I was possessed to take the company to Jamaica. Right. <laughs> we didn't have no money, no nothing. Yes. And I used that American Express card. Yes. I charged flights, hotels. Wow. To go to Jamaica. Audacious, very audacious. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Well, that's what he taught me to be. Yes. Um, but I knew I was going to pay him back every <laughs> red cent. <clears throat> and then I said, Dad, we're here, but I won't be staying home. We're staying at the Hilton. Um, but I reserved a box for you because a man of his ilk, he was um, educational opportunity officer. He, he saw all the education in Jamaica at the time when he was a Oxford grad. Mm -hmm. um, so he would get a box. So he got a box with eight seats. And I told the dancers, I said, he might not come because he didn't want me to be doing no dancing. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he had a very poor opinion of dance back then. He thought it was fat girls running around the room. Oh, wow which was not true, right. that was just his, his biased opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and he showed up, came backstage, sweetness and light. Mm -hmm. Oh, my son, the <laughs> choreographer. Yes. Oh, if you had told me yes. that it was going to have intellectual substance, mm and cultural significance mm -hmm. that it has, I never would have fought you wow. that hard. Wow. And to me, I bawled like a baby. <laughs> I can imagine. I can only imagine. Because that was the biggest yeah. thank you I could thank get. Because he was yeah. hard ass. Yes, he yes. really was. Yes. And I bless him for it. Yes, yes, hear yes, me yes. well. At the time, I didn't. Yeah. But in hindsight. <laughs> but in hindsight, <laughs> yes. I bless him for it because he made me the strong will. That's awesome. Um, investigative man that I am. Yes. Um, we had one dance called Junkie on the Corner. Mm -hmm. And there was, um, had to hear it, there was one girl who was in a silver dress with red drawers 
a junkie sliding down the proscenium and he thought that was just too vulgar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the only great. That, that was it, but the rest uh, of it was I said, but Dolly, that's the life she lives. Yes. That's who she is. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a segment of people. Mm -hmm. And I was not being nasty to her or whatever. I was just saying, you unfortunately, this is not the way to go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, and then everybody saying, oh, you said your father was so tough. What a lovely man. <laughs> and I looked at my younger brothers and sisters. And my brother Paul said, lovely man. <laughs> it's like everyone had a different perception than you had all your life. <laughs> That's awesome. Are you ready for rapid fire questions? Just say yes. Yes, rapid fire. Watch, watch. Rapid fire questions. Yes. Yes. Woo! Oh, if I don't want to answer that, I won't answer that. You don't have that. to. My age, I don't. <laughs> it's easy. Favorite book. Favorite book. Oi. There was some substance about Huckleberry Finn that sticks around with me come hell and high water. Okay. And truths reappear. Mm. You know. Okay. Okay. For my mother's sake, and because of the, the amount of good news and good advice that is in there, I'd say the Bible. Okay, that's good. That's that's really good. That's you good. know, I mean, even the tales of Adam and Eve or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's a lot of good philosophy. Mm. You know, yes. and. I don't think you have to be a Christian mm -hmm. to believe it. You yeah. have to live a good life, support people, nourish people, give, celebrate, yeah. you know, all, all those things, yeah. you know. And, um, yeah. yeah. Favorite movie? I, <laughs> I love Casablanca. I've seen it two million times. Wow. <laughs> and it can still hold me, you know. Yeah. Uh, then you get series. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, the series will pull away from Casablanca. Uh, uh, the Hardy Boys series or Tarzan series or something like yes, that. Yes, yes, know? yes. So, yeah, you gotta, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 um, I love West Side Story too. The dancing in West Side yeah. Story. And again, good news. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Celebrate, support, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I put West Side Story about Casablanca. Right there, yeah. next to each other. And to be audacious means to be. Well, we get called audacious because of our suntan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, when we're just standing up for our rights mm -hmm. or whatever, we are. Mm -hmm you know, uppity, mm. uh, audacious. Yes. But audacious for me is to take charge. Okay. Okay. Take charge, be responsible, yes. solve it, help it, heal it, uplift it, yes. condemn it if yes. you have to. <laughs> if you, whatever you have to do. Yeah. You know. That's good. Dance.org. They can support you right financially, volunteer, take we classes. We need it. We got 14 dancers on salary. Wow. They get paid every two weeks. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And that's hard to do these days mm -hmm. with all the funding sources going down on the corporations, folding and what have you, you know. Yes. Um, but my dancers, beside moving beautifully, mm -hmm. they're intellectually bright, spiritually bright and inventive. We've had every race, creed, and color in there, you know, Hindus, <laughs> I mean, everything you can yeah. imagine. Um, it's predominantly black yes. because there's a minority of predominantly black successful companies mm. for us to deal with. Where we're respected, where they stay two to a room on the road. You know, in my days it used to be ten to a, 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 a station wagon. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just hollering there. Uh, yeah, you, you know, all of that. And I decided if I had a company, it'd never be that mm. way. Um, and um, you kept your promise. And and take care of their families. Yes. Bill's boys are flesh and blood to me. Period. Yes. You yes, know. Yes. Yes. And and um, 
Natalie's yes. daughter. She called me Grandpa Guard. Oh. And I've been Grandpa Guard all her life. Oh. And she is my granddaughter. That's you sweet. Because Natalie is my daughter. Yes. You know. Yes. And without PJ, Natalie, and Bill, I have no company. Mm. You know. Yes, yes, yes. They, and Steve Humphrey has been dancing with us from the very first performance in 1970. Wow. And Steve is 50 up there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he's 60 something now. Yes. And the SOB got abs like a 20 year old. Yes. I hate him. I mean, he looks beautiful. Yes, yes, Everything yes. in shape, yes, you yes, know. Yes. Happily married to his lovely wife, That's ML, awesome. you know, and can stuff we remember, he, we forget he remembers, you know. But I mean, and that's what I said I wanted to do. I wanted to keep dancers older on stage. Yes. Because most companies get rid of dancers at 30, but you don't know much about life mm -hmm. yeah. in its full, mm -hmm. um, Blossom, yes, <laughs> you yes, know, yes, and yes. drama. Yes. And 30, yes. you know, yes, that's yes. when I started yes. this company. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you so much for your time. Until next time, remember that life is meant to be enjoyed and not just endured. Hallelujah.